My name is Tomoya Ogari. I work as an SE, aka System Engineer, at Scott Inc. Our job is to program corporate systems and deliver them to companies. Surio, I think I'll finish work early today. Do you want to have dinner? Sure. See you later then. Yeah, see you later. She's Suryo Uwaki from the accounting department. I've been dating her for a year now. I feel fulfilled in my job, I have a girlfriend, my working life is all smooth sailing, is what I'd like to say. I was being bothered by my coworker, Nanasuke Nanahikari. Tomoya, could you help me with this? I can't finish it. This is your job, right? Do it yourself. I have dinner plans, so I can't work late. Don't say that and help me, okay? Nanasuke is the boss's son, so he would always make me do things. He always comes to me at the last minute, so if I refuse the offer, it'll be passed on to my clients and other departments. So I had to help him. Sorry, I suddenly have to work late. What? I could tell my manager about Nanasuke, but it'll sound like I'm telling on him, so I don't want to. My manager is called Luna Morikawa and is well known in the industry. When I first started here, I would ask her for advice and was able to continue because of her. I want to show her how much I've grown, so I haven't been asking her for advice, but she's still a manager that I admire a lot. But one day, Morikawa-san suddenly left the company. Morikawa-san suddenly quit? And you're the new manager? What happened? They saw my talent and I got promoted. Be happy for me. And we're no longer peers. I'm your manager now. You have to use respectful language. <laughs> Did you know? The reason Morikawa-san quit is because she fought with Nanasuke. Fought? Why? I don't know the details, but Nanasuke is the boss's son, so he can be arrogant. He probably pushed Morikawa-san out so he could take her place. Nanasuke started using his new title as manager however he wanted. Tomoya, the program you're developing, I've put it forward under my name. What? The program for Koi Labo Company? Yeah, yeah, that one. Wait, I'm in charge of that! Why?! I brought it over to Koi Labo Company, and they said they've never seen such a useful system before. Sorry it feels like I've stolen your achievement. <laughs> Plus, Nanasuke deleted all the traces of the data in which I've been involved in developing the program, making it completely his own accomplishment. So even if I made a big deal about it now, there was no proof! That was already a shock, but one day, Nanasuke called me to the meeting room. Huh? Suruyo? <laughs> Hello. Sorry for calling you over during work. We can't hide it any longer, so I thought we should make it clear. We've actually been dating for a while. Huh? What? What's the meaning of this, Suryo? I like successful men. Nanasuke has more money than you, and he's the future president. He's the correct option, don't you think? Even if you suddenly tell me this, I can't accept it! Break up with me. I'm already pregnant with a child. What?! I'm thankful to you. Because of that program you created, my reputation has gone up too. But we don't need you anymore. This is how Suryo and I broke up. Then, soon after we broke up, there was a rumor that I was stalking Suryo. It was definitely a rumor that Nanasuke spread to make me look bad. We can't continue to hire a problematic employee, and it's probably hard for Suryo to work if her ex-boyfriend is here. I don't have any regrets about this place, either. I left the company, but because of the shock from being betrayed by Suryo and Nanasuke, I couldn't look for jobs. 
Even if I go to an interview now, I probably won't get it. I need to change my mindset. Maybe I'll go traveling or something. I went to a small village in the prefecture next to us. They have a beginner mountain climbing course here. Nature is great. Seeing nature and moving your body helps you forget about everything bad. All that company stuff doesn't matter anymore. Hmm? What's wrong? Why is she squatting there? Does she feel ill? Huh? Is she... Morikawa-san? Is that you? What? A goodie? She was my ex-manager, Luna Morikawa-san. What are you doing here? I sprained my ankle. That's terrible. I'll help you. Please, get on my back. What? No, I can walk on my own. Ow! See? Don't push yourself. Hey, I'm fine. There's a cabin right over there. Let's rest there for a bit. It's closer than going all the way down. Yeah. Upon arriving at the cabin, I first treated Morikawa-san with the first aid kit I had brought with me. I think this should make it a little better. Thank you. Sorry for causing you trouble. Not at all. It started to rain a little. That's not what the weather report said. It's true that the weather on a mountain changes easily. It might be better not to leave right away. When the sun goes down, it'll get cold, so I'll start making the fire. It's a wood stove, right? Do you know how to do it? I went mountain climbing a couple times with family when I was little, and I learned how to do it from my father. I'll help too. No, it's okay. Please, stay still. I'm sorry for ruining your mountain climbing. Not at all. I'm actually happy that I got to meet you again. Oh, sorry for saying happy when you're injured. No, I feel better if you think that, and it's also nice to see you after so long. We didn't see each other for a while, so we checked the weather while talking, but it wasn't getting better at all. It was actually getting worse, and the sun went down, so it would be difficult to go down now. We'll have to stay here till morning. I brought jelly drinks for when I got hungry. I brought extra, so you could have some if you like. Thank you, I brought chocolate, so please have some. Oh yeah, I heard that you quit the company. Yeah, a lot happened. I told her about how Nanasuke stole my achievements and spread bad rumors and stole my girlfriend. Really? It was difficult. No, but can I ask something? I heard that the reason you quit the company has to do with Nanasuke. If you don't mind, could you tell me? You helped me out a lot, so I was wondering why you suddenly quit. Actually, Nanahikari kept hitting on me. What? Nanasuke did- But I wasn't interested, so I kept on rejecting him, then- I'm the boss's son, you know. I'll be taking over the company in the future. But if you reject me, you won't be able to work here anymore. I think you should think about these things separately. That's for me to decide. Then Nanahikari faked the mistake that I made and forced me to quit using that. What? Nanasuke did that? Of course I was angry and I thought about fighting him on it, but... But I didn't see a future at a company where this kind of thing could happen, so I quit. Really? Ever since that, I've been tired of dealing with people. So I came on a trip to get in touch with nature and spend some time with myself. I had a bit of money saved up and I got an employed insurance so I didn't have to rush to get a new job. I feel similarly. I wanted to relax by taking a trip. But what is it? Meeting Morikawa-san made me calm down the most and was the most relaxing thing. The rain stopped. Huh? Oh yeah. We slept early to prepare for the next day. Then the next day, 
Because she rested the entire night, Morikawa-san's leg was almost fully better. I have my car parked at the bottom, so I'll take you to the hospital. No, it's fine. I don't want to cause you any more trouble, and it's already fine. No, you need to see a doctor. As soon as we got down, we headed to the doctor, but luckily, it was nothing serious. Thank you so much. I'll thank you another time. You don't need to thank me. But then I won't feel comfortable. Then once we both get jobs and calm down, let's climb that mountain again. Let's both aim for the top. Huh? Okay, I'm excited. We exchanged numbers and said goodbye. From then on, we would occasionally update each other on what was going on, or take a walk in a nearby park on our way home from seeing each other at Hello Work. Thinking about it now, I grew the most when I worked under you, because I was able to learn how to work and think from you. So I wanted to be with you again. But it's not easy for us both to work at the same company again. But we can be together even if it's not in a workspace. What? I also want to spend more time with you. What does that mean? Oh, it doesn't have any deep meaning. Uh, that's what I thought. B by the way, what kind of job are you looking for? I like programming, so I want to work as an SE again. But as far as I can see, there aren't many jobs right now that fit what I'm looking for. Oh, really? Hey, Oguri, I have something to talk to you about. What is it? Then, a few weeks later, I got a call from an unexpected person. Tomoya! Do you have time right now? Well, of course you do! You're jobless! What is it, Nanasuke? I'm having trouble with something! I need your help! Having trouble? The program for the system I delivered to Koi Labo had some trouble! You mean the one you stole from me? Really? Well, something like that did happen. Well, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Anyways, I'm in trouble! According to Nanasuke, the cause of the trouble was lack of maintenance of the program. Normally, you have to update the system depending on the situation, but Nanasuke wasn't doing that. This is what caused the failure. The guy in charge is pissed! It's your fault! Of course they'd be angry! You need to do maintenance properly! But I didn't create it! And I don't know how to deal with the details, so I need your help! How can you say that now, after taking away people's achievements? Come on! If it stays like this, my reputation will go down! And I don't know what my dad will say! Huh. So you're only worried about yourself? I don't have to help someone like that. Sorry I couldn't help. Bye! Hey, wait! Tomoya, please! I rejected him, but... I don't feel bad about not helping Nanasuke. But I can't leave it alone when I think of how hard it is for Koi Labo, who's in trouble. I'll talk to Morikawa-san about it. Morikawa-san, I just got a call from Nanasuke. What? From Nanahikari? Actually, Morikawa-san and I had started a systems development company some time ago. She's the boss, and I'm an employee. Since Morikawa-san had to leave the company due to Nanasuke's insolence, she said that from now on, she wanted to work with a small number of people she could trust. I wanted to work under her, so we both had the same opinion. We worked together to start a new company. Morikawa-san is well known in the industry, so she quickly attracted a number of clients, and the company got off to a good start. Then I had the call from Nanasuke. So that's what happened. Really? Then it must be difficult for Koibo-san as well. Yes. So I would like to approach Koi Labo and ask them if they would be willing to help me deal with the program's problems. It isn't to help Nanasuke, it's to help Koi Labo. Okay. 
we immediately offered to work with Koi Labo to restore the system failure. It took a bit of time, but the update was completed successfully since I originally created the program, and I succeeded in gaining the trust of the industry. Thank you so much! Not at all. This led to a contract with Koi Labo for maintenance work, and we celebrated. Then we got a call from the president of Scott, Nanasuke's dad. Through this case, we found out that Nanasuke stole your achievement. We looked into Nanasuke more, and I found out that he made you both quit. I'm really sorry. Nanasuke not only got demoted and got a pay cut because of his father's anger, but was also transferred to an affiliated company shortly afterward. He is now being strictly supervised at an unfamiliar site. It's now hopeless for him to become president in the future. DON'T BE LAZY! YES SIR! Then, Suruyo started talking to me again. I thought you were pregnant with Nanasuke's child! That was a lie. Huh? Why would you lie about that? Nanasuke told me to lie to you. He said you'd calmly stand down if I do that. I can't say no to the boss's son, right? But I actually liked you, so I want to try again. I can't ever believe you again. And I already like someone else. Please, leave. Ah, Tomoya! Wait! Apparently, Suruyo acted cocky at work because she was dating Nanasuke. Therefore, when Nanasuke lost his position, she was subjected to a lot of criticism from others, and soon left the company because she could no longer stand it. When it comes to me... I'm really happy that I get to work with you again, but I don't want to be with you only at work. I want to be with you all the time. What? Is that bad? No, I was thinking the same thing. So Luna and I started dating. I'm currently working hard at my job with Luna-san, while privately, we are enjoying our holidays together, going to various places. Uh, I'm so tired. I can't walk anymore. What? Luna, are you alright? Should I carry you on my back? <laughs> I'm joking. This place is just so nostalgic. Oh, right. This is the place where Luna was squatting. The place where we reunited. Thinking about that, I felt nostalgic as well. I'll carry you. What? No! Hey, put me down. <laughs> Stop moving around! We can laugh together now, because I reunited with Luna that time. Let us be thankful for the encounters that the mountains have led us to. Thank you for watching all the way to the end! Hope you enjoyed today's episode! And don't forget to check out our other episodes, too! According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos! Thank you for watching! See you next time!